Shabbat Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to say, give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Hashem, Wilkar Kadash. Uh, double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And uh, Shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And I say uh, Shabbat Shalom to you, uh, Akim, out there. And this is a quick sit down lesson on this uh, Sunday night uh, at 8.46 p.m. Central Standard Time uh, on this May the 8th. And the title of this uh, sit-down lesson is going to be um, uh, the, the whole duty of man is fear the Heavenly Father and keep His commandments. And this is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 13, through the Holy Scriptures, and it reads, in Ecclesiastes, verse 13, let us hear the whole, I mean, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh thy power, and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man, right? Because that whole duty of man is that Israelite man, and the and the children of Israel is the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American man, and the speckled bird Israelite man that's scattered through the four corners of the globe. You know, their bloodline lineage of their seed of the father goes back into uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you know. You know, the whole duty of an Israelite man is uh, keep the law, statutes, commandments, fear the heavenly father, and keep the law, statutes, commandments the best of his ability, you know. Even though we can't keep all 613 laws, you know, but, you know, keep the laws, that's just commandments to the best of our ability, you know, keeping the Sabbath, keeping the high holy days, you know, keeping the commandments, you know, uh, acknowledge that you are an Israelite, you know, it requires more of you just being an Israelite, you know, you got to keep the laws, that's just commandments to the best of your ability, you know. Um, do uh, videos, sit down lessons, and be on the highways and byways, and you know read the holy scriptures and learn the precepts. You know, so the whole duty of man is for an Israelite man is fear the heavenly Father and uh, keep His commandments to the best of your ability. You know. Uh, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 12, and it reads, And now, Israel, what's that? The Lord, Yahweh, thy power of thee. I mean, I mean, let me read that again. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 12, and it reads, verse 12 in the book of Deuteronomy, And now, Israel, what thou, the Lord, Thy God, which is Yahweh, thy power, will require of thee, but to fear the Lord thy God, to walk all in his ways, and to love him and to serve him. I mean, yeah, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Right. Because what is commanded us to do, you know, is, you know, love the heavenly father and walk in all his ways you know which is the law statutes and commandments you know and separate yourself much as possible from evilness and uh and look forward to right, uh, righteousness you know because uh holy holy means to be separate to be set apart you know keep the law statutes commandments to the best of our ability and continue to seek righteousness and love the heavenly father with all your heart and soul much as you can you know to the best of your ability you know then acknowledge that you are an Israelite once you find that out you know uh, learn in the scriptures you know learn from the uh, the man of the Lord the true servant the true prophets of the man of the Lord starting with the elders apostles of great millstone you know
know, they've been in, been in the truth for 30 plus years. And then, you know, learn from the elders and the deacons and the bishops and the Akim and the brotherhood in that order on down, you know. So, you know, keep the law, statutes, commands to the best of your ability. Acknowledge that you are an Israelite. And, and the Israelites, once again, is the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American. And the speckled bird Israelites as well, too. They make up the true lost sheep of the house of uh, Israel, you know. Keep the law, statutes, commands to the best of your ability. Fear the Heavenly Father. And continue to love him with all your heart and with all thy soul, you know. Uh, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter, another precept, uh, Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 2. And verse 2 in the book of Deuteronomy. That thou mightiest fear the Lord thy God to keep all his statutes and his commandments, which I command thee, thou and thy sons and thy sons' sons, all the days of thy life, and they, the days may be prolonged, right? Our days may be prolonged, you know, live a long life, you know, pass down from a generation from son to son, you know. Like the scripture says, uh, train up a child as he shall not depart from the ways of the Heavenly Father, you know. So as long as we uh, continue to fear the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son as well, too. Keep the law, statutes, commandments to the best of our ability, you know, and walk all in his ways, you know, which is the law, statutes, and commandments, you know, through the Holy Scriptures. Continue to learn through the Holy Scriptures, you know, uh, be able to keep the law, statutes, and commandments, and keep the high holy days to the best of your ability, and acknowledge that you are an Israelite, and learn the language as much as possible as well, too, you know, and continue to be edified. With the men of the Lord that be out there on the highways and byways, you know. So, yeah, you know, as I brought out Deuteronomy 6 and 2, you know. You know, keep the commandments. Fear the Heavenly Father. You know, to the best of your ability, you know. And this is another precept. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 1. 111 verse 10 through 112 and verse 1 uh, verse 10 in the book of Psalms precept in the book of Psalms uh, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom right because the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom you know because you like the scripture says uh, roughly paraphrase um, renewing the, the beginning of wisdom you know, it's like a renewing of your mind, you know. So, yeah, I mean, it's kind of similar to that, but it's it's, it's, it's translated in a different way, though. But it's kind of similar to it, you know, because renewing your mind is uh, take out all the, uh, erase all the stuff uh, that you learn from, from this world, you know, and then be renewed in your mind. You know, being co uh, converted, which is renewing your mind of uh, learning that you are an Israelite. Keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. And the whole duty of man is fear the Heavenly Father and keep his law, statutes, and commandments uh, to the best of your ability, you know. And I'm going to read it again. Uh, Psalms chapter 111, verse 10 through 112 in verse 1 and verse 10 and it reads through the Holy Spirit scriptures and the book of Psalms uh, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom right the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom you know and and a good understanding right having good understanding of the Holy Scriptures the right correct way you know and uh, have all they do his commandments, he prays endure forever. Right, you should endure forever. Live long time, live long term, you know. Being renewed in your mind, you know, with these laws, that's your commandments, and acknowledge that you are an Israelite. You know, you're the sons of the Most High, you know. 
and being renewed in your mind. In Psalms chapter uh, 112, verse 1, and verse 112 in the book of Psalms. Praise ye the Lord. Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord, that diligently greatly in his commandments. Right, once we did, did consistently diligently uh, greatly in his commandments, you know, keep lost his commandments to the best of your ability on a consistent basis as much as you can. Even though, like I mentioned before, even though we can't keep all 613 laws, you know, keep the law, statute, and commandments to the best of your ability, you know. And that's why it says, bless ye the man that fears the Lord, right? Constantly and consistently fear the Lord as much as possible, you know. So you can avoid the wrath from the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son as well, too. Acknowledge that you are an Israelite, you know. You're happy because you still have that opportunity and chance to wake up, you know, in the last days, you know. Because the door of repentance is uh, closing very shortly, you know. Because we, we, we see that in the times ahead that we are living in, you know. So, um... I'm going to read one more scripture, then I'm going to close out the uh, sit-down lesson for tonight on this Sunday. Uh, this is the book of Luke. This is another precept. Uh, this is the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 50. In verse 50 in the book of Luke, and his mercy is on them that fear him from generation to generation. Right, because, you know, the Heavenly Father, he's a merciful power. You know, him and his only begotten son, you know, especially towards his people, you know. Even though the Heavenly Father, he chastised who he loves, which is his people, you know. The seed of Jacob, you know, which is the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the speckled bird Israelites as well, too. They make up the true lost sheep of the house of Israel, the, the Israelites, according to the Holy Scriptures, you know. That's why, you know, the Heavenly Father, he had mercy on his people, even though he jacked his people up because of uh, Israel disobedience, you know, and not hearkening unto the voice of Lord our God, which these law statute commandments, which is commanded us still to this day from generation on to generation, you know. You know, as long as we uh, constantly, uh, consistently, and, tr and to acknowledge, to uh, fear the Lord and keep the law, statutes, commandments, the best of our ability. And he should have mercy on us from generation on to generation, you know. And that's a beautiful thing that the Heavenly Father uh, give us an opportunity and chance, you know, to repent while we still have the door of repentance. It's still opening, you know. So with that, you know, I hope this was edifying the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. And uh, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekhar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone, prisoners' word, truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through four corners of the globe, prisoners' word, truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, prisoners' word, truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim. That be like unto the speckled bird, Christian's word, truthfully and sincerely, through the four corners of the globe. And so with that, I will say, Shalom and the ball, ball, ball.